Kadar back to Malak's castle in the dead of night. After avoiding the tight security in the hotel, it felt almost too easy slipping past the guards. The sheriff really should be more careful. Kadar has regained consciousness, if that's the word. Sometimes I can catch a glimpse of my old cousin behind the metal mask, but most of the time he is changed, foreign to me. Malak has been busy while I was away, gathering information. It's amazing how much he has dug up in such a short time. Turns out there still might be something I can do for Kadar. There is a cure, Malak tells me, hidden in the bowels of a ruined hospital in a part of the city that lies behind the barricades. The old hospital was run by an order of healers from a faraway land, but when the barricades were erected by the hammers in order to prevent the entire city from being overrun by and dead, the hospital was closed off from the rest of the city, and has been inaccessible ever since. The healers, who served a deity called Amaris, possessed a powerful relic, a set of scales, which granted them the ability to cure even the most fatal disease, and it is rumored, in some cases even to raise the dead. Malak believes that these scales may help Kadar, so I must find them. Once inside, I must be prepared to deal with the undead. Malak knows that the hospital is haunted, but he couldn't tell me more than that. But that doesn't change anything. I'll find the scales and get the hell out of there. I thought I'd never see Kadar again, and now I have a chance to save him. I must not fail him this time.